Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto and Tire Rack. While falling gas prices is good news to most of us, for the makers of one of the most fuel-efficient cars on the market, the Toyota Prius, the news is not so good, as sales of the Prius have been in decline since 2012. And just when things were starting to look a little better with the recent launch of the fourth generation Prius, we now get word that its highly anticipated plug-in variant that was set to go on sale this fall will be delayed a few extra months, possibly into next year. The PHEV Prius Prime features a larger battery to extend full EV driving up to 22 miles and is expected to earn a 120 MPGE rating. Thanks to the Chevy Volt and others, plug-in hybrids are no longer a rarity. So the Prius Prime will still face stiff competition when it finally arrives. We've all seen them on the road, those not quite a car, not quite a motorcycle three-wheelers. You know, the ones with two wheels in the front and one in the back. Well, up to this point, regulations for these go-kart-like machines have been inconsistent at best, with most states classifying them as motorcycles. That means you have to get a motorcycle license and in many states wear a motorcycle helmet as well. Now regulations are slowly changing as states have begun to classify them as auto cycles. And provided it has a proper steering wheel and a roof, helmets are not required. Auto cycle offerings range from the performance-minded Campania T-Rex and Polaris Slingshot to the more eco-minded, fully electric three-wheelers of Elio and Electromechanica. While makers of three-wheelers have been trying to get rid of motorcycle classifications for years, they should be careful what they wish for, as motorcycles do not require crash testing. And it's likely that relaxed regulations in one area will require more scrutiny in others. From plug-ins to auto cycles, you never know what changes consumers will face in an ever-changing automotive industry. And that's it for this week's Motor News.